So one of my funnel web spiders has a little bit of a mite infestation, and today's the day I decided to do something about it. And as you'd expect, the spider was not the most cooperative of patients. Okay, so here's her current enclosure. Nothing too spectacular, but we're going to be getting her into something a little bit more natural, like the setups that you saw me put the last lot of funnel webs I unboxed in. But first, of course, comes the arduous job of extracting her. Needless to say, she had to be extracted with a long pair of tongs and, of course, no small amount of caution, because after all, Hadronici versuta is a medically significant spider. And as we all know, funnel webs can have a little bit of an attitude. My first attempt to corral her into a transfer container went well enough, only downside was this fool of a took forgot the lid. Which gave the spider plenty of time to run around the plate and show off her crappy climbing skills, or should I say non-existent climbing skills. The second attempt at capture resulted in a threat posture, which is kind of a thing for funnel webs because I mean, when you're that fat and unathletic, you gotta have some way to impress people. This capture attempt was eventually successful. The spider by now was thoroughly pissed off, but what's she gonna do about it, eh? And now it was time to give this spider a good old clean. If you look closely, you can actually see some of the accursed mites crawling around the spider right now. In order to remove these mites, I'm using a paintbrush dipped in water, which the mites stick to. For the spider, this was evidently not the most enjoyable of experiences, but hey, it's for her own good after all. I also had the feeling that as I watched the footage I took, I would invariably see mites in very obvious positions that I missed, and that did indeed prove to be the case, but the object of this was not to remove every single mite on the spider, though that would have been optimal. It was just to get rid of the majority, and then an enclosure change seems to take care of the rest, at least that's what's worked with centipedes very well for me. Gotta say, the funnel web's reaction when I touch it between the abdomen and the carapace is uh, rather amusing to me. Perhaps because it quite closely mirrors my own reaction whenever someone touches me unexpectedly. Though I've never been known to rear up and bite, yet anyway. Okay, if you're starting to hear a bit of background noise, that's because my neighbours are throwing a party. You know, great timing, but uh, yeah, guys, not my fault. I'm sorry. The spider at this point has gotten very, very angry. What an ungrateful twat. Just kidding, I love her. With all the cleaning behind us, it was now time for the spider treadmill. Welcome to the world of arachnid athletics, where team Mygalomorph tends to do particularly poorly. 
and now it was time to get this grumpy customer into her new home. Here's her new and natural looking setup, much like the ones that those last four funnel webs got. And in she plops. No, that fall is not as high as it looks, and it was a soft landing on a bunch of sphagnum moss anyway. So there we are, that's the Hadroniki Versuta in her new enclosure, hopefully now with far fewer mites, which will eventually dwindle away, at least, like I said, that's how it worked with centipedes. Generally, and especially in these natural setups, mites tend to be outcompeted by springtails. If you find these funnel webs interesting, why don't you take a look at this video where I unbox four of them, or perhaps this informational video on just how dangerous Australian spiders actually are. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.